All right, guys. So it finally came. It finally came. The hardest product I've ever tried to get. Finally came. PlayStation 5 bundle. I'm gonna be unboxing it in a couple minutes. Uh, I'm gonna move it into the garage. So I'll see you guys there. Finally, finally, it has arrived. The GameStop PlayStation 5 bundle with extra controller in three games. And we also got the Elgato HD 60S Plus capture card, Ethernet cable, a Cat 8 Ethernet cable with uh, gold plating. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. To increase uh, the connection. Now, is that your first piece of gold in your life? Uh, who knows? But this is the first piece of gold that I can actively see. So, hey. Uh, we also got our splitter auxiliary. I guess I can open this. So the whole point of this thing is to open these. Let's see what we got here. We have our male to double female auxiliary cable here. And this is going to be so we can capture our audio on OBS and as well get our audio through our headphones because the PlayStation 5 for whatever reason only allows one audio output at a time so you can't have it playing through your speakers and your headphones at the same time according to my research this is all theoretical at this point in time because I have not uh, ever played on PlayStation 5 and I've never done this before but according to my research this is what I came up with so we have our uh, male to double female auxiliary cable there, and hopefully I'm labeling these correct. And then we have our male to male auxiliary cable. So basically what we're going to do is, one end's going to plug into our capture card, and the other end's going to go into this bad boy. Bing! And then our headphones are going to plug into this bad boy. And then this is going to plug into our controller. And in theory, that should allow us to capture the audio on OBS as well as capture or as well as play the audio through our headphones at the same time. So let's go ahead and get rid of these. The knife is not included in any of this. This is a personal knife. So let's go ahead and let's open the big boy here. The meat and potatoes right here. The meat and potatoes right here. As long as we don't cut ourselves open, it's always safety fresh. And I did get this through GameStop. And I tell you what, this was the hardest thing I've ever tried to purchase. It took me a month and a half of tracking PlayStation 5 drops in order to get this. I got this the PlayStation 5 in my cart six different times between Target, Walmart, Best Buy, and every single time I'd have it in my cart trying to check out, hitting a button, and it would sell out. You know the pain. Anybody out there that's tried to buy this bad boy, you know the pain of when it sells out while you have it in your cart. It sucks. But I was able to get it through GameStop. Of all the places, I never thought that I would get it for GameStop, but lo and behold, the PlayStation 5, the PlayStation 5 disc version with the bundle also came with three games. What do we got here? We got uh, the Show 21 Baseball Extravaganza, which uh, I'm not a huge sports fan, but hey, it's a game, right? And we got uh, Hitman 3. Bada bing bada boom, score there. And we got the exclusive PlayStation 5 Returnal, which should be very good. So those are our three games. We also got PlayStation 5 controller. This was part of the bundle. This does not, the extra controller does not come with uh, the actual PlayStation. PlayStation comes with one controller. This is an extra controller that came with the bundle. Which, that is my uh, controller right there. Yep, that's player 2 controller. Or, you know how it goes. If my controller's acting up, I just swap him without him knowing. And this becomes my controller, and he'll never know. 
And, of course, we got the PlayStation 5 disc version. Can play up right. to, uh, it claims to play up to 8K or 4K 120 uh, frames per second. Spin that thing around. Let's get a good look at let's, it. Let's get a look at this bad boy. We'll do a 360 degree pan here. Play like never before. Breathtaking immersion. Lightning speed. Stunning games. All right. So now, shall we open it? Let us open this bad boy. Here we go, people. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and let us open the PlayStation 5. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. What? 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 Oh, I gotta pull this bad boy out of here. Alright, we gotta pull this bad boy out of here. <clears throat> Having some small technical difficulties. Hold on. There we go. Alright, there we go. We're good now. So this looks like just a white box with a nice PlayStation logo. Okay. Let us open this bad boy up. And it has some directions, but uh, nobody follows directions, so. All right. First of all, we have the quick start guide for the PlayStation 5. Just some setup stuff. Yada yada, yippee ki yay, we figure it out as we go. Right. Okay. Then we have safety guide. Yep, nobody cares. We live on the edge, boy. Alright. So first, oops. First, we have the PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5 controller here. See if you guys can hear the buttons. And this controller really fits in your hand really nicely. Yeah, it feels really good. Feels, feels very good. Okay, set that over here with everything that comes with the PlayStation. This is going to be our divider line right here, right? Uh, this is all our extra stuff. This is what actually comes with your PlayStation. If you just get the, the PlayStation. Uh, we have our power cable. Well, the United States power cable. If you're in a different country, then you will have whatever your country uses. And the results may vary. We have... Our charging cable. I believe. Charging cable. Does this have uh Okay, so we do have a connection there. That's good. That's what we're going to use. And we uh, do our stuff later on when we set everything up. So that's our charging cable. Okay. Let's see what else we got in this bad boy. And we have our HDMI cable. And I'm surprised it does not have the PlayStation logo on there. Yeah. Even the, the Xbox One, they had a Xbox logo on the, that HDMI cable, but PlayStation, uh, I guess they outsourced. What we have in here? This is the stand. So I think if it goes vertical, it sits right here. And if it goes horizontal, it clips in here somehow or something. I don't know. Supposedly, like, this thing's supposed to rotate or something. Oh yeah, see it rotates, and there's a screw. Houses its own little screw there. So we'll figure that out at some point. Oh, it actually has rubber uh, feet to grip the actual console, and the bottom has rubber to grip whatever surface you're on, so it doesn't slide around, fall off. If you have crazy dogs or an out of control little minion, then you'll be all right. And we gotta do the famous check. Yep, nothing in there. Make sure we don't throw yeah, away nothing. Nothing in there. 
always gotta be the thing to check to make sure you don't miss any cake. So now, if you look in there, you can see the PlayStation 5. And this is the disc version, not the digital version. I oh, almost hit the stand off. So, magical moment. Let's see if we can get this bad boy out. Without dropping them. Hopefully, I didn't think to myself. Okay. Let's put this box to the side here. All right. Now this is a very big console. It is a very big console, my friends. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. Boom! PlayStation 5 disc version. Awesomeness. We got this nice PlayStation logo there. It's nice curved panels. Nice and sleek. And on the back here, we have the two high speed HDMI ports, the Ethernet port, HDMI port, and the power port there. And on this side, it's just nice, sleek, smooth, has a disk drive. Then on the front, we have our USB, and then a little guy. I think it's USB Type-C, but I'm not positive. And I'm assuming these are our power, power and eject buttons. And that, my friends, is PlayStation 5. So, if you purchase a PlayStation 5, this is everything that you'll get right here. You get your stand, controller, instruction, mumbo jumbo, power cable, uh, charging cable, HDMI cable. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our next stuff. All right, guys. So uh, we're gonna move on to our uh, PlayStation Five extra controller here. Now this did not or does not come with uh your console if you just purchase a console it just comes with the one controller this was part of the bundle through GameStop. see if we can get this bad boy out of here hold on boss okay got him out Put that box over yonder open him up and we have our wireless controller uh mini de jusance field de dulcense Yes, and no charging cable, but we have our second PlayStation 5 controller. Feels very nice, but be warned, if you buy an extra controller, it does not come with the charging cable which is very interesting does not come with the charging cable so don't lose your charging cable or you're gonna have to fork out however much one of these bad boys is it should probably take a month to find one yeah it'll probably be a little while all right so that's the extra controller now we're gonna move on to our elgato hd 60s plus which is what I will be using to capture my gameplay footage on my PlayStation and upload it and record it on my PC. So I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. Go ahead and open this bad boy up. We got a nice fancy box there. see what we have inside here we have a nice diagram here showing us how to connect our stuff and we have our instruction manual nice little uh, little guy we have our actual capture card here 
There's a nice rubber bottom, so it'll grip. Now, what does mm. the capture card do? So this allows you to capture or stream from your PlayStation to your PC. Nice. So, we have two HDMI plugins, a USB Type-C plugin, and an auxiliary, uh, auxiliary plugin. And this also comes with one HDMI cable. The hey, be nice. A sticker. However, that's supposed to go. And our USB Type C to USB Type A, I believe, connector. And this actually looks like it's plated in gold as well. Hmm. Could be wrong. Could be fake. But it appears to be so. It probably is gold. Okay, so that should be everything that you need in order to record and stream your gameplay on your PS5 on the uh, Streamlabs OBS is what I'm using, but there's other software you can use to capture and I'm sure it'll work similarly. So what we're going to do is we'll put this in a different video of how I set everything up. Assuming that it works and assuming that my research was correct, but uh, So how it's gonna go is the HDMI cable is gonna go from your PlayStation 5 into the capture card then uh, Your secondary HDMI cable which this comes with will go from your capture card to your monitor or TV whatever you're gonna play on then the included USB cable will go from the USB Type-C to uh, whatever computer you're using. And I believe uh, if you're using a Mac and you have to purchase a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable separately, but I'm not positive on that. I have no idea. Uh, and then we're going to use our mail-to-mail -mail auxiliary cable, and hopefully I'm labeling these correctly. And this is going to go... We bought these separately. We didn't get the... Uh, Elgato actually has a chat link cable that you can purchase uh, But the reviews on the chat link cable Are extremely extremely bad. So I wanted to do my own thing and make my own work around because hey Why not? So I got the mail-to-mail -mail auxiliary cable and this is gonna go from your Elgato capture card to your one male, two female splitter cable, right? So he's gonna plug in there, chink, and then this one's gonna plug into here, pink, and then, uh, I lost my train of thought. And then, then my uh, headset is gonna plug into here, chink, and then, so this will be taken up by this. This guy will go to this guy. I'm sure this looks confusing. I'll, I'll actually show the setup in, in another video of how this works. But the male is going to go in there. Dink. Other male is going to go into the one female the splitter. Second female the splitter, your headset's going to plug into. And then the male of the splitter is going to go into your controller. And that will allow you to get your audio onto OBS and into your headset at the same time because the PlayStation 5 according to to my research does not allow you to output audio to two different sources so you can't output audio to your TV and your headset at the same time why they did that no idea but it is what it is and we have a way of overcoming that so if you want to see that video on how to set all this up assuming that it works the way that uh, I'm projecting it would then uh, I will link the video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Just get a pan of the whole table in here. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next video.